world, this is Pamela, and you're on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. Well, my channel is mostly all about crochet, and I just love crochet, and I'm so glad that you guys love crochet, too. All right, so um, I'm drinking just some good old black coffee this morning, so grab you a cup of coffee, grab you something to drink, grab you something to eat, sit back and relax, and let's just enjoy some good old crochet talk. Well, today is Tuesday, and so I do have the Stitch of the Week coming out, uh, so be sure and look forward to that today as well. And um, let me see if I can go ahead and show that to you. Um, yeah, I brought it over here to my little table. Here it is. This is the Bar and Lattice Stitch. Right there. So I hope you guys enjoy that and find you some beautiful projects that you can make with that. So yesterday was our family Valentine get together and we had pizza and all this cool stuff and we got to keep three of the grandbabies all day yesterday. Yeah, all under the age of two. <laughs> I don't even know how many times we got them in and out of car seats and I think we tag team pretty well. But uh, it was a long day. It was a fun day and uh, I missed them little babies already. I can't wait to see them again. All right, guys, um, let's see. Oh, yes, I do have some happy mail. This is from Darla with Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. I love you, Darla. Thank you so much for this beautiful card. And the card says, stay strong. Look at that. It's just beautiful. And she handmade this. She put this together, took time out of her day, and made this card for me. And it has a little owl on the inside. Darla, I just want to say how much I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate what you wrote in this card here. You are just a doll, and I'm so tickled for you and for all the beautiful projects and the um, crochet things that you're putting out there, your little um, sweaters and cardigans and shawls and different things. You're a very talented young lady. Anyway, and I just want to say how much I appreciate you. All right, guys, um, I am working on something, <laughs> and I'm very excited about this. I have not made a dish towel, a hanging dish towel yet. I made the tile toppers, but not a hanging dish towel. And so here's what I've got so far. Yeah, um, I'm just going to go crochet it as I go. I mean, I have it written down, but um, if I have, I haven't made any changes to what I've actually written down yet, <laughs> but you know me, I always make changes here and there. But this is it so far. And so I'm loving this. I'm using the Hobie's Friend 8-8 100% cotton yarn. It's a, a three weight. So there will be a tutorial. So if you think you might be interested in this one, go ahead and grab you some DK weight yarn and a G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and get started on this because there will be a tutorial and there will be a PDF pattern in my Etsy shop. So I'm very excited about this. Oh, let me show you the cool yarns. Look at that. <laughs> so I can make quite a few of them. Um, this will be in one of them as well, for sure. But this is actually a campaign with Hobie. The, um, I think it's the no shade, well, no, the shades of red is what it is. And they didn't have red, but I went ahead and picked these colors, which is just fine for me. I've done, I'll show you some red uh, projects that I've been working on lately. So it's pretty nice to go ahead and move on to something else. But I plan on making some of these dish towels with some matching um, dish cloths. And I want them to be, you know, nice and springy. So perfect yarn for that. So anyway, I just really, really, as you guys know, I do a lot of projects with that. Friends, cotton yarn. I mean, there's so much you can do. Baby blankets, shawls, washcloths, dishcloths, scarves. I mean, you name it. I just love this yarn. Okay, so I just wanted to remind you guys that I did put this pattern out for this uh, scarf. If you're interested in making this, it is a PDF pattern and it is also a um, tutorial. And I want to say thank you guys for purchasing my flash drives all weekend. I appreciate that very much. Um, I just want to say I feel very blessed <laughs> that you guys are even interested in my PDF pattern. So I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you very, very much. So the yarn that I use for this is the Caron Cotton Cake. Um, this is, um, I know it's a, pretty sure it's a four weight, but. Yeah, aqua. Aqua is the color on this one. 
and then the other one is cream. So those are the two colors that I used for that. I had a blast making this scarf. Guys, it's so easy. You're going to have fun. Look how the, it's diagonal. You're going to love it. It's different. Uh, let's see what else to have. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to remind you some of the Valentine projects I did get out this year. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I was a little behind, though, so I'm disappointed in myself on that. But anyway, this is a little gift bag. You can put the Valentine candy and goodies in there. And then, of course, you know, the doll outfit has a little purse, hat, shoes. So, if you haven't seen this pattern, oh, and it's a removable skirt. I forgot about that. So, it's actually like a romper. See? Isn't that cute? Yeah, that was supposed to be red. <laughs> but I, I had already done it pink and I, I just haven't gone back. <laughs> Um, let's see. I used red. I know I used big twist yarn with that varsity red with these and, uh, white with them. But here's the biggest thing that I made. And I'm very, very proud of this one. I made my first pillow, uh, Valentine pillow. And it has this stitch on the front, which is just beautiful. The Pico edging, which is perfect. And I have this for the backside. So, anyway, go check that out. I do have a tutorial, and I have a PDF pattern. So, go check that out. Oh, yeah. I went shopping with my sister Tanya to Joann's, and I grabbed some, I think they were $2.99. Looky there. So, I grabbed some more Big Twist yarn, and I did grab this. I used a 50% coupon. I'm so excited to try this. It's the Caron Jumbo. They were like $12.99, and see the speckles, the sparks, sparkles, not sparkles, but the specks in there. Isn't that cool? And um, I wanted all of them, <laughs> but I wanted to try one before I bought a bunch of them, you know. And I'm, I do want to wait till they go on sale. I did use my 50% off coupon for that one, though, because, you know, you can get one item as long as it's not on sale. So I did get that. But the other yarns I got, oh, I forgot. I got a pair of si uh, socks for my granddaughter, Kalia. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I forgot to put those in her um, Valentine basket. <laughs> anyway, um, so I got this big twist. Let's see. Light green. How many did it? Oh, my gosh, here's her other pair of socks. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that. Uh, so I got one light, uh, what I say, light green, and I thought this color here was really cool. It's, I don't know if it's showing up very good on the camera here, but it's a very nice one. It's the denim blue, so I end up buying two of these denim blue, cool, right? Medium rose and dark coral. I love this dark coral, and then that should be varsity yellow. Yeah, varsity yellow. So, these are the colors of Big Twist that I got. Right here. They're pretty together. That would actually make a really good blanket. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go ahead and read um, By Still Waters. It says, Are you that lost sheep? Then Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. That's Luke 15, 3 through 6. Be utterly lost in the middle of a big, bustling city can be truly scary. Why? Because of all the unknowns out there. Maybe the strangers we meet will wish us harm. What if darkness falls before we can discover which way we went wrong? In our frantic state of mind, we begin to search for a friendly face, someone in authority who might guide us where we need to be. That is so much like our spiritual lives here on earth. We are all lost and in desperate need of someone to save us. Maybe we don't know all the mishaps we made, but we know something is very wrong. We have a mighty rescuer in Jesus. He is more than a friendly face in the bustling crowd of strangers. He is the only one who can guide us safely home. He is hoping you will always call out to him whenever you have need. Lord, some days I find myself so lost and alone. Please place me on your sturdy shoulders and carry me back home. Amen. 
Wow, that was beautiful. Well, guys, that's all that I have for this video. Um, tomorrow's Whip Caddy Wednesday video. Yay! Our favorite video of the week. All right, guys, um, that's all that I have for this video. Just remember to live life, have fun, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.